for the Chicago Sun-Times, I'm Lori Rackle, and this is Lori's List, where I talk about some of the new shows headed to TV. This week, we have some hits and misses. We'll start on a high note with Tyrant. Mr. President, my son will cut the ribbon. A godfather-like drama debuting Tuesday on the cable network FX. Set in a fictional war-torn nation in the Middle East, it stars a relative unknown actor named Adam Rayner as Barry Al-Fayed a California doctor who happens to be the youngest son of a rich Arab dictator. With his American family in tow, Barry reluctantly returns to the troubled country he ran away from, setting off a culture clash of epic proportions. While you're living your American dream, I dream about this. The pilot is riveting, but like our protagonist Barry, a bit joyless. Here's hoping this promising series from the producers of Homeland doesn't collapse under the weight of its own gravitas. It's a compelling premise, and one that plays out in a part of the world not often seen on TV. On Wednesday, NBC is offering a ride on its new series, Taxi Brooklyn. Good morning, Brooklyn. It's another beautiful day in the hippest city in the world. Trust me, you'd rather walk. Taxi Brooklyn is an import from French TV. It's based on Luc Besson's taxi film franchise, about a cab driver who helps a police officer solve crimes. This ridiculous spin on the buddy cop story is set and filmed in New York, and stars Kyler Lee as a rogue detective determined to find her father's murderer. She forms an unlikely partnership with an equally unlikely cabbie character from France. I'm not stopping until my father's killer or killers have been brought to justice one way or another. Car chases and creative cinematography aren't enough to make up for the lame jokes and hackneyed storylines. In keeping with the broadcast network bombs, CBS is rolling out its new summer soap Sunday, called Reckless. I like the cuffs, Terry. It's a nice addition. A Costco-sized portion of tropes populate this unimaginative legal drama set in Charleston, South Carolina, where a no-nonsense Yankee attorney from the south side of Chicago shakes things up in sweet tea country. Or is it because you found out she was sleeping with your boyfriend? The Sawyer? Her love-hate relationship with a local good old boy lawyer is one of many predictable plot points in this instantly forgettable show that would have you believe that sex scandals are South Carolina's number one crop. Sunday also sees the premiere of a new HBO drama, The Leftovers. Sam? It comes from Lost co-creator Damon Lindelof and is based on Tom Parada's novel by the same name. This unsettling, atmospheric drama unfolds three years after 2% of the world's population abruptly disappears in a rapture-like event. Residents of a fictional New York town try to make sense of what happened and learn to live in the aftermath. Justin Thoreau ably anchors the series as a troubled police officer and father who's struggling to hold it together personally and professionally. It's an intriguing study in how ordinary people react to inexplicable events. But The Leftovers demands a level of patience bound to result in its own sudden departure of at least some viewers. 